We said this many times. The inversion time is one of the most important parameters in MR imaging. And particularly when manipulating a sequence that many MRI operators are definitely familiar with. And of course, I'm talking about the STIR sequence. So last, on our usual MRI poll, we decided to ask to our community what inversion time is typically used to null the fat signal when acquiring a STIR sequence at 1.5 Tesla. We had a bunch of different options, as you can see here, starting with relatively low values from 130 milliseconds to 180 milliseconds and going up to values exceeding 500 milliseconds. So what is the right answer? We explained on our YouTube channel that the inversion time is the delay between the 180 degree inversion poles and the moment where the signal is sampled. This is strictly related to the T1 of the tissues and instead we are particularly interested to the T1 of the fat. With a T1 of about 260 milliseconds at 1.5 Tesla, the theoretical null Ti is equal to 0.693, multiply the T1 of the fat, so 260 milliseconds, and this results in an inversion time which is equal to 180 milliseconds. In clinical practice, however, MI users commonly utilize inversion times in the range of 130 to 180 milliseconds in order to achieve effective fat suppression. But bear in mind that things tend to change when working at 3 Tesla. T1 relaxation times increase as B0 increases, so the T1 of the fat is longer at 3T. That means that in order to achieve effective fat suppression, we need to use higher inversion times, typically in the range of roughly 220 to 260 milliseconds. Other tissues might require much longer inversion times for accurate suppression, with some clinically relevant null points even exceeding 500 milliseconds. And that was all from the Everything MRI team. Always check that the inversion time is correctly set on your MRI protocols. And we'll see you very soon with another video completely focused on MRI education. I'll see you around.